just had a guy tell me you can't go no further up here. There's a big oak palm right here leaning over. Boy, this area really got. I'm gonna back up right here. Big oak down in. Yeah, usually here in Florida, we day after a hurricane, we're out there picking up branches and and leaves, but it's just too windy still. Even though this past, I don't know, seven hours ago, it's still too windy. Get out there and see between these houses, the river's crested over. The river's washing right into these people's backyards. See right through there? That's the river washing into these people's backyards. It's over the docks. River with the white caps. All the docks are underwater. Okay. Yeah, the winds and the surge push the river here over the banks. You can see all the water. Look at it right up here. It's still coming over. It's like a three foot seawall there. Coming over here. Yeah. This is the city attorney's office. Boy, we come up a little Look at bit all more. Steps are underwater. Yeah. Wow. City park, the benches are underwater. Yeah, park benches. Like I said, it's usually about a three foot wall over there. You walk off this. That dock is Ames Park. You can't even tell it's a park. This is an Indian mound right here. Or an Indian, and they, they believe there's a couple hundred bodies buried under that thing. Yeah, a little bit of debris you know usually them docks right there sit three maybe four feet above the water so uh, you can tell how high this has gone up real deep here yeah more angry water we're in the river yeah we're on beach street but we're in the river this yard you know it's crazy that they build these houses just back far enough or up enough where they don't flood but look at this one here and see that it's not close but it's not going to their houses see a boathouse out there but you can't even tell there was a dock walking out to it everything underwater the manhole here here fill that manhole right there bubbling up yeah nice camera all spooky and stuff this road right here just look at that over the fire hydrant almost wow look at this this little this is like a big drainage ditch it goes down about 10 feet it's overflowed it's crest Look at that. It's all the way up the train track and that's a that's a little bridge this track is over right here. Wow. Look at that railroad track underwater. Some of these businesses look like look like lakes. behind this disc look at that that big old school or whatever it is over there just looks like a lake over there yeah one of these back roads here in town look at that 
There's a park, all their fencing over there was down. Look at the trees down. It's only 6.17, it's getting overcast again. Seems darker than what it usually is. But... Oh, will be a lot of cleanup here coming up tomorrow and the weekend. But crazy, a little palm tree in the corner of the house down and took a couple of lines with it. Oh, back in this deep intersection again. Still seems like a storm is here. It's so cloudy and overcast and windy. Deep spot up there. You see a truck going through it. Mm -mm. Well, a day after the hurricane, sun is out. Nice, nice temperatures. Cleanup begins. There's a lot of cleanup to be done in a lot of, a lot of places. A lot of branches. A lot of raking has has to be done. Tree, they're cutting up trees up here, but we uh, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up today and piling up on the side of the road. They use it, they'll come by on Tuesday and pick up all the yard debris. So, at least the weather is nice. A lot of trees cut down. Oh, there's that big tree across that driveway. Uh, I guess they finally moved this tree right here. So at least get by, cut it up some, but wow. A lot of work ahead, but we we, we deal with it every year or so, but we uh we'll get the town back to normal here shortly. You know, this is the Halifax River, the intercoastal. And uh we were told everybody east of this river, which is the river over to the ocean was a mandatory evacuation but nobody left and everybody on that side of the river that was told to evacuate we've all got power cable uh internet but yet on the mainland side this side the west side of the bridge there's power outages everywhere blinking lights gas stations up here no power Boat ramps flooded. City Hall right there. No power. Isn't it ironic? Oh, Lord. This is State Street here, I believe, up here on the right. This is right on the close to the railroad tracks. Look how, look how much water it is. Forklift half underwater. Mm -mm -mm. Sad. People's livelihoods, businesses. Look at this road here, Garden Street. Over here, construction site. They've been clearing land here. It's like a lake. There's somebody that stalled out right there. Oh boy, a lot of work ahead. Got a tree broke right there blocking the road. I'm going to my uncle's right now. They're out of power over here and it's still hard to find fuel. So his generator, he's, he's running low on fuel. So I'm taking my generator and I am taking about 15 gallons of fuel over there it should hold them over hold them over hopefully until the power gets on this is I don't know. I mean, 
came over here. This generator was running low, so we filled it up, and then I left mine. It's in the garage. I think I got a bigger tank. I got about an eight-gallon tank. So it's full. So I said, when this one runs empty, just switch over to mine, and then there's about seven, eight gallons of fuel in the garage to go with it. So at least two, three days are good. This little plaza over here looks like it's in the middle of a lake. Look at all the water. Wow. Well, the water's finally drained off the road here. It was about two, two and a half foot deep yesterday. I think they open certain drains along the road for a while and then uh, close them and then open another section. This morning we had water outside the front, but by this afternoon it's bone dry and the water was going down the drain. So, got the roads cleared. There is back there a big oak tree still in the, this road. It had it blocked off, but uh, other than that, everything's almost back to normal. You see everybody's got their debris stacked on the side of the road. I tell you a few things people in Florida do before major hurricanes. If you have a pool, most people throw all their patio furniture uh, into the pool because it's not going to get blown around by the winds. And second, if you have a boat, usually people put the put a plug in their boat and fill maybe a foot of water down at the bottom of it. That extra way to keep the wind from flipping your boat over as well. So. Little things Floridians do, but other than that, everything's almost back to normal for us. 